back and we 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 back. You know, I I was looking through all the comments and I didn't get a chance to respond to everybody. Um, but you know, a lot of times when you're making videos and stuff, you don't you start um I don't know how to explain it without coming off like a, a total sap, but you um you don't realize how much people actually support you. And uh, I was reading all those comments, man, and you guys really you, you make me uh, happy that I'm you know making these videos. And boom, seventy eight strength. So um a lot of people are saying, Evan, you should just take this account and make it a normal Iron Man. That will not happen because you guys gotta understand there are still several batches of Zaya to be released, and I want to be able to use this account in that aspect. I don't want to just throw away all this time, and I can remake this account. Uh, with like no restrictions and significantly less time. Um, so I'd rather just do that. Anyway, I did pick out an account. Um, I got a name saved and I will be doing a regular Iron Man, no twist to it because I've never not, I've never had an account that I just didn't limit myself. And I think that it'll be very cool to see what I can do there because I've always limited myself. Anyway, I'm going to sit here. I'm getting 80 strength today and then we're going to prep for Winter Todd. So let's go, baby. Uh, it's been like probably four hours, three hours. I don't know. I uh, had to get off last night. I got a early class now, so you know schooling started all back up and shit. Um, but this will be 79 strength. However, um, I got 71 uh, hit points off cam, and which also got me 84 combat. But check it out, 79 strength. All right, so round 38k ish an hour. Um, yeah, I played a little bit of Rocket League too, so I think I'm down to like 36k an hour. Let me go check. No, I'm at 37k an hour right now. Um, 100,000 experience gained in this session. So, um, yeah, if we just, you know, say that that's roughly 40K, uh, it's like a four and a half hours or so. Um, but, yeah, that'll, that'll be a lot of fun. The dream. The dream is finally here. Oh, my God. To think about how long this grind took from 60, it's kind of, like, I don't know, mesmerizing to me that I was able to do it. <laughs> All right, one more hit. Let's go. Or, or, okay, not one more hit. Boom! 80 strength. Nice. 85 combat. 80 strength, 85 combat. Woo! 60 attack, 60 defense. Fantastic. All right. Well, I want to do something now. Um, now that I have all of these caskets from 80 strength, I'm going to go and open them all now. I, I, I saved them for a while. I didn't really know when I wanted to open them, but... I got him now, and I'm done with melee for a little bit, unless I go back for like six or 80 attack and 80 defense, which is on my list of things to do. I don't know when I'll do it, but it is on my list of things to do. So, mystery box and 64 caskets. And let me open up this first. I got a body rune. You're fucking kidding me. A body rune? Kiss my ass. All right. Let's go. That's a lot of sapphires. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, man. Oh, Ooh, two cosmic talismans. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, let me just get out a whole bunch more and see. There we go. Look at this, man. I'm gonna have to bank some stuff though. Hey, let me just go ahead and bank ten sapphires. Yeah, all right. We bank ten sapphires, guys. Don't forget. And oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, it's all right. It's a lot of uh, cosmic um, talismans, but okay. Ooh, ooh, loop half of a key, though. That's pretty nice. All right, so it was that, plus 10 sapphires. This is what we got from all of those chests. So uh, let's see, what do I want to do next? Well, hopefully Winter Todd comes out uh, very soon. Uh, they said you have to have a minimum 50 fire making, so I'm going to go there. I might go for 60 fire making next, just AFK some maples or whatever and do that. Um, but uh, I, everything right now is pretty much AFK. Um, but this is not bad. I don't want to go back to agility. I don't see a need to do it. Um, same with Hunter, uh, same with Runecrafting, and then Slayer is passive, so, um, not bad, though, not bad at all. Anything else I can open? Oh, I should open up this stuff, too, um, and those are probably just empty bird's nests. Um, and I got those eggs, and I'm not gonna open up those, but, let's see, what did I get? There we go, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Let's go do some fire making, I'm gonna calc out and see how much I need to get 60 fire making, and hopefully it does not take too long. Oops! I forgot to record the level up. Uh, 51 fire making. All right, so this is how I'm doing this. Originally, I was just going to chop these logs and then bank them, and then I realized it would literally take longer for me to chop and bank than it would be for me to just chop, like, 
these trees over here. I'll chop this one until it goes down, and then I'll chop that one and the one next to it. And then I'll run to the very start of the gate, and fire make all the way there, and then go back. Alright boys, right here, the level up, the dream, 52 fire making. Nice, very, very nice. Alright, eight more levels to go. Let's go. Hey boys, welcome back to the uh, Evan and Rach show. Uh, two more logs. Alright, see, it's always going to turn on the recorder that's going to be like, you know what, I'm going to take ten years to cut two logs. So I'm going to watch this, I'm going to do three tick wood cutting tricks. out. One, two... Three, one, two. Look what I say. Reclick. Check this out. This, this is this is the most advanced wood cutting method in the world. Look at that. Boom. Seventy six wood cutting. Cool. Uh, how much fire make experience do I need? One thousand six. All right. Check this out, boys. We're about to get a fire make a level two, man. There's not gonna have everything here today. Everything today. All right. So we're gonna get fifty three fire making. Yeah, yeah, fifty three fire making too, uh, which means I am a total of halfway to my level sixty goal. All right, seven more levels to go, and I'm a hundred percent not getting another wood cutting level. At least I don't think. I, I you know what? I might, I might hit seventy seven. A thousand logs is a lot. So, hi right, boys, fifty four, right? Or is fifty five? Fifty four. All right, cool. Fifty five would have been cool too, but I guess we're gonna be okay with fifty four, right here. Yes, 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 54 fire making, let's go, all right, all right, boys, 55 fire making, real quick, boom, 55, uh, it's a brand new day, I'm gonna try to get 60 fire making today, Winter Todd comes out tomorrow, uh, so that's what it's looking like right now, it shouldn't take too long, uh, we might also get 77 wood cutting, so that'd be cool, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to it, oops, I was uh, practicing my backwards lighting new meta over here to maximize my fire making XP per hour, and I totally missed getting 56 uh, fire making, so that's not good. But hey, check us out. So what I'm doing now is I'm just staying in this area, and I'll go and I'll just woodcut everything until I get a full level, and then just backwards light all over this area, and uh, then yeah, just keep on woodcutting. So this actually increases my XP per hour. Don't know by how much, but it does cut out the walk time. And, oh my god, I just realized my, my screen readings are all fucked up. Let me fix that. Alright, there we go. Fixed. So yeah, it, um, I, I don't know how much more XP per hour it is, but I would say over a long period of time, it's probably a significant amount. So, uh, yeah, we're doing that. Saving some time. All good. 56. Four more levels to go until 60 fire making. Uh, we're on the right track, boys. We are on the right track. Ooh, <laughs> guys, I got a, I got a clue nest. Yo, I got a, I got a clue nest? That's kind of cool. All right. Detour. Well, I want to bank this, obviously. What is this? In a town where thieves steal. All right, so that's already automatically. Whoa, I got a clue scroll. FML, it's an already. Maybe somebody will be like, oh my gosh, you're that Zaya Iron Man. I totally don't hope for that every day. Okay, I kind of do. Anyway, let's see. I probably should have banked it for the placeholder. Nah, fuck that. It's all good. Because then I would have to drop my easy one and do that. But yeah, alright, so we got an easy clue scroll now. Yo, what if I got it? What if I got a master clue scroll one day? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Nice. Alright, back to fire making. See, this just, this feels so much faster. Because I'm not even really doing anything, you know? I don't have to move anywhere. It's like if I were to woodcut literally at the Grand Exchange booth. And then go and unnote all my logs. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. But I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's like woodcutting right there. And then, you know, just lighten my shit immediately, so... But, I mean, this is so casual, too. And I can walk all the way back. Like, oh, my God. It's, it's just too nice, guys. It's just way too nice. Like, check us out. Ready? Right, we're going to do this. And then I should be able to run right there. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Zero ticks. Lost. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that meme right over this clip, by the way. All right. Now I should be able to run right there. If I don't mess up. Oh, Oh my god, call me Randalicious with the fire making hour. Oh my god. Can I level up in a second, please? Right here? Yeah, 57 boys. Nice, three more levels to go. Still in here. I'm still here, dog. Alright, see you guys in a couple more minutes with the next level. Alright, wood cutting, fire making, it's all the same. Same clip, same shit, different account. Hey, you know what's kind of nice though? I know you guys can't really see this, but uh... 
Um, you, sh you might be able to hear it in my voice. E either way, I could, like, put on a fake persona and act like I'm having a good time, but I, like, genuinely enjoying myself right now. Normally, I don't. Like, I shouldn't say normally. I was a long time ago, but, like, normally I get on RuneScape and I'm like, alright, uh, I'm making a video. I obviously don't want to sound like a depressed motherfucker. Um, but, like, right now, man, like, I'm... I'm sitting there, I'm like, alright, this isn't bad, like, I kind of want to stream, like, it just, I don't normally, uh, have that kind of motivation right now, it's kind of nice, so, I don't know if it's just because I'm no longer grinding out, like, AD strength, like, that was really hard, um, just because it took so long, um, but, I mean, stuff like this, where I'm, like, noticing experience and stuff, it just, um, or levels and progress, it just feels so much nicer, so, 58 fire making, right, that was what that was, I hope it was 58, oh, no, I'm gonna lose it, ah, I didn't lose it, cool, didn't want to have to relight, Alright, so a little light right there, and then we'll go right there, light, and alright, back to woodcutting, zero tick loss, boys. Alright, uh, yep, that was 58, 22,000 to go, like I said, about seven, you know, or so, um, levels, or not levels, inventories, and it'll be 59, so, yeah. I don't know if we'll actually get that woodcutting level, I'm not sure, I don't really feel like calculating it, so, whatever. It's time to get that fire making level, we're super close to 59, so I'm just going to go ahead and start it right now. Just to get the clip out of the way. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm hungry and I'm trying to stop by McDonald's real quick. I promise you it's not the reason. But, check this out guys. 59 fire making. Let's go. Alright, cool. One more level to go. Uh, Probably like 8 inventories or something. I don't know. Ballparking it again. But yeah, almost done. We're about to be getting 60 fire making finally. Which means I don't really know what the fuck to do. Uh, so the live stream showing off what the Winter Todd is going to be was just released on my end. Um, so I got a little bit of a sneak peek of what to expect tomorrow, which is kind of cool. Um, looks like a minimum entry was just fire making, and, uh, Iron Men can do it. It's based off of individual participation and things like that. I don't want to say too much more because I'm just going off of what I saw at first impression. And if there's one thing I've learned about YouTube, boom, six fire making, there's one thing I learned about YouTube, it's that... You most definitely should not just say stuff that you think might be there based on what you've seen at first glance, because as soon as you're wrong, everybody and their fucking brother will tell you how you were wrong. So, yep. Anyway, it looks like uh, we're going to be done here. No relight? Ah, oh, ha ha ha, I got fucking baited. I can make prayer pots, by the way. That's, that's the other side of Iron Man, by the way. He's literally the same total level as me. Um, but yes, all right. Let's see, do we have anything else I can open? I'm going to open these two right here, and we have two gold. Man, that's some bullshit. Okay, so something cool that I saw on this, um, uh, on whatever it is, this, uh, this preview for the Winter Todd, is that apparently games necklaces are going to teleport you to the Winter Todd, and there's a bank right there. So, I think I should probably invest in a handful of these, um, games necklaces, because that will be, like, my version of, uh, Castle Wars banking. So, definitely think that's something to look into, although I don't really know when I will need to be able to do something, or, like, bank like that, and then immediately get back to somewhere else. I can't think of anything except, like, construction off the top of my head, um, which I might not even want to, like, use law runes for, but definitely something to think about, considering I have a shit ton of sapphires, uh, and the only other thing I would use them for is, um, uh, 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 rings of recoil for bossing and stuff, so... Um, but we have that as a possibility. I might make one or two. Let me check the crafting level requirement real quick. Uh, it will be under jewelry. It has to be low, right? Yeah, 22. Obviously, I can make that, and then, of course, I can enchant that uh, already. So, tomorrow, because I don't know if, there, if there's going to be another clip. There might be if I just go and, like, train up some stupid shit. Uh, tomorrow... Um, although I have class for like half the day, I would like to play a lot of that mini game. It looks pretty boring, not gonna lie. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's a fucking skilling boss. Like what can you expect, right? Uh, so I want to do that, play that for a little bit, maybe get a piece of gear and then upload that as episode 25. Um, or I could hold it off for a little bit and then get all of the pieces, uh, you know, just like play my fucking heart out all weekend. So we'll see. Um, hold on. I, do I have any, uh, bows that I could still sell? All right, I do. I might sell this and then work on getting 50 construction because construction is part of this uh, mini game as well, and I might be able to do that just to get some uh, more participation in. So uh, everything is looking pretty good. I could also AFK those up. I'm about an hour away from that, hour away from that, um, and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I have a lot of skills that I could train just to get total up and get ready. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. So, so I'm doing some tithe right now, and I just got 55 without thinking about it. Nice. Well, I still have half an inventory to go. So swag. Hey, 57 thieving. I learned some shit, by the way. Um, so 
it might be worth my time to start getting some super compost and what that would require is 15 of either watermelons pineapples papayas and jenga berries um, originally i was going to keep the papayas on the off chance fruit trees ever come in here but i think that's probably not necessary um so I could, i'll just use them for super compost um but whenever i can finally start getting some fucking drops man I'll uh, go and get these pineapples and uh, super compost ingredients ready to go. And uh, I'm going to start super comping my herbs so I can speed up my herb lore over time. I think that's the smarter thing to do. And I was talking to Zaya Slave, which, like I said, the other Zaya Iron Man, who has damn near passed me up in total. And, guys, I'm very competitive. And I, I like I was used to being number one ranked Zaya Iron Man. And this motherfucker came out of nowhere and just all of a sudden played for, like, the two months I took a break. And now he's up to where I'm at. Ooh. Ooh, the fire in my heart was like, no, no, motherfucker, we ain't doing it like that, so I'll be, um, the competitive spirit in me is here and ready to go, and it's probably just because I know I have a test tomorrow and I don't want to study, so I'm procrastinating by playing this game, but aside from that, man, oh, uh, man, I, I, I want to, I want to take the lead, I want to take the lead bad, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, be grinding, um, however, I was looking at his stats compared to mine, and he has... 50 attack, 60 strength, and 50 defense. Zaya Slave, that is. And that means I am about 45 hours in melees ahead of him, which is pretty fucking good. Um, so that would be that'll be hard for him to catch up on. You know, 45 hours is 45 fucking hours. Um, granted, that is one of the more AFK things to do, and he actually has uh, 10 woodcutting levels on me and 10 fletch or 10 woodcutting and 10 fletching levels on me, which, in the grand scheme of things, is a lot of levels. Um, but, um, you know, that, that'll get me money and all that stuff too. So, uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm staying here. You may wonder why I'm dropping the cooking apples. Uh, basically I can't eat them. So I'm just dropping them. Um, I'm actually keeping the bananas and the strawberries. So that way when winter Todd comes out tomorrow, um, since it apparently does damage, I want to be able to have some way to like bring a whole bunch of food. Um, and these heal percentage health. And it looks like uh, winter Todd deals percent damage. Um, now, I don't know if that percent goes down with the lower health that you have, but assuming it does, and really either way, um, this is just like a nice way to store a whole bunch of food. So um, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, but yeah, I'll just be here. And it uh, looks like I only have five out of the uh, 15 that I need to make super compost. So yeah, we're going to start super comping the herbs. I could probably super comp um, some watermelons as well, and then use those watermelons to make more super compost. God damn, I'm getting a lot of botanical pie shit. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And uh, I'll let you guys know when I get the first super compost shit ready to go. Alrighty. So, check this out, guys. I should be able to put these final two Yanger berries. Yanger, Jenger, whatever the fuck it's called. And then I can close the compost bin, and next time I come by, it'll be good to go. Um, I did plant some uh, Arlanders. Arlan <laughs> Arlanders. Uh, so whenever those grow, that'll be cool. And then the watermelons are good to go. Um, I'm not going to harvest those until I replant them because they look kind of cool. I like them there. Uh, yep. Call me weird. Don't give a fuck. I was not really getting a level, but I uh, figured it's probably time to do one of these. Let's go ahead and make the sapphire amulet. That'll be our magic amulet. And let's go ahead and make the emerald amulet. That'll be our defense amulet. Uh, we don't have a combat amulet or didn't have one. Um, the Xerix Talisman gave a little bit of magic bonus, I want to say plus two, and I want to say the Sapphire Amulet, once enchanted, uh, gives more than that, so, um, we needed to go and do that, that was the thing, uh, let's go ahead and enchant them really quickly, I believe, I don't, I don't you know, I don't know what staff I need, so we're just gonna do that, um, and where is my Xerix Talisman, I want to check it, and, let's go ahead, oh, nice, and, oh, Nice. I didn't placeholder it. Give a fuck. Alright. So that was plus two. That's plus ten. Holy shit. Okay, so yeah, Sapphire Amulet definitely should have been, or Amulet of Magic should have been made a long time ago. And then, of course, the Defense Amulet is plus seven everything, which I should have been using for a while. Um, however, I wasn't. Everything, I was been, everything I've been meleeing, I should have been using that shit. So um, I guess we'll just go ahead and put all that in the Combat tab for now. Do that and cool so we're talking about how you can actually kill steel or uh, iron dragons by de-aggroing and hopping after every attack that sounds super painful but apparently you can do it so it, it's like 10 minute kills but i think i might go for that at some point so shout out to zaya slave for saying that um he's saying it right there oh by the way if you do iron so you have to lose aggro and then you just attack them with mage and log so 
Um, we'll do that at some point. I, I want to get my, uh, my room kite, guys. I think um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm just going to go in with some standard gear and just sit there and kill him with melee a little bit. We got good stats now. I'm going to try and attack. Um, let's go ahead and get those two potions right there as well. And what else do I need? I should probably just bring some food so I can stay there just a little bit longer. It, it's not like it really matters. I'll just take everything I have. Um, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I got a, I got gear now. Where's my Where's my shoes and, and uh, boots at? Or my shoes and socks. Or my shoes, socks, and gloves. That's what I was trying to say. All right. Also, to answer, like, a common question, people are like, you should get um, whatever the fuck they're called. The uh, rock shell gloves and boots. I can't speak for the boots. The boots might be better, but it doesn't like give any offensive bonuses. However, these gloves give um, plus two to strength, plus three to strength. So these gloves are better than rock shell gloves, which is why I haven't gone and killed them yet. So um, the giant sand crabs are what drops those, but I know that's a common thing people were saying. So that's why I haven't done that yet. Um, however, let's go ahead and kill some high guards, train some attack. We are 85 combat. It's going to be fun today. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. Uh, this is the prepping for the Winter Todd. Uh, when this video goes up, Winter Todd will come out the next day, and I will be playing that probably all weekend. So don't expect an upload until probably Monday. It really just depends on how long it takes me to get clips. I have about five minutes saved up already, and whenever Winter Todd stuff comes out, I'm liking, you know, I want to get at least a 15 minute video out. So, uh, yep, I haven't had any luck again with the room kite, uh, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really helps out. Chill in the Evan Andrew HCC. I love you guys all so much, and have a fantastic day.